One man says his stepfather, Frank Venter, deserves a place in the Georgia Music Hall of Fame. Over those years, he's sort of been forgotten in the history that he helped create. We'll share Fenter's story and tell you some of the big names he helped bring to the music scene. That's coming up next. The son of a music pioneer in central Georgia wants his stepfather's name to go down in the history books. Robert Fenter says his stepfather, Frank Fenter, was a co-founder of Capricorn Records and deserves to be inducted into the Georgia Music Hall of Fame. Stephanie Suskind shows you his influence on music coming from central Georgia. Over those years, he's sort of been forgotten in the history that he helped create. For Rob Fenter, seeing his stepfather Frank Fenter's picture throughout the Georgia Music Hall of Fame brings back fond memories. Well, I particularly get a warm feelings with the Capricorn display, and it's nice to see that my dad is represented uh, there for Capricorn display. Fenter says his stepfather co-founded Capricorn Records with Phil Walden in 1969. Walden was later inducted into the Georgia Music Hall of Fame along with his brother Alan Walden, but without Fenter. All along, I always knew at one point in my life I'd like to to go out and, and make sure that he's remembered and recognized, because it's long overdue, he'd be recognized for the contributions he, he helped create. Uh, Fenter says his stepfather came to Macon after managing Atlantic Records in Europe. Dad heard rough demo tapes of the, of the band, the Allman Brothers, and that was sort of like, all right, we got our band, that's the linchpin. <laughs> We're going to make it, make it happen at that point. And they did make it happen. Fenter says his stepfather helped bring an artist like the Allman Brothers, the Marshall Tucker Band, and Stillwater to Capricorn Records. Uh, the Capricorn um, office there. He and Phil Walden became good friends and partners in the music industry. Phil and Frank were the dynamic duo. You know, they was like Hall without Oates or Sam and Dave, you know, one without the other. They, they really complemented each other perfectly. And Capricorn certainly wouldn't have ever been what it was as, it, as we know it to be without either one of them. That's why he says it's Fenter's turn to have his name in the hall. Rob Fenter spent the past few months building support for his stepdad and nominating him for the honor that would be music to his ears. Hallelujah. Finally at last. <laughs> About time. <laughs> He hopes others will agree, putting Frank Fenter's name in history where he says it belongs. Stephanie Suskind, 13 WMAZ, Eyewitness News. Fenter says he created a Facebook page for people to comment, look at photos, and share stories about his stepfather who died at the age of 47. Now, the selection committee for the Georgia Music Hall of Fame inductees will meet at the end of the month. That's when they'll look at nominations, then they meet again in the spring to decide who will be inducted in September.